The City Safe Sleeping site on 20th and B Streets is getting a bump in funding. A city council member tells me that the site's been a success and many people are wanting to get in. So they voted to increase the funding to last until the end of June, which is six months longer than originally planned. That does pass unanimously. San Diego City Council voting to increase the funding for its initial safe sleeping site on 20th and B Streets in Golden Hill. Let's keep it going. The momentum is going very well with getting those individuals transitioned to housing. Karina Santos is the program manager from Dreams for Change, which manages the 20th and B site and the other safe sleeping site called the O Lot in Balboa Park. Not only do we have a 500 person waiting list for the sites in between the two, it's the amount of individuals that we house in a safe place would have would they wouldn't have anywhere to go. Many people called into Monday's city council meeting voicing their support for the funding to be approved. One of them is John Brady, who's the executive director of Lived Experience Advisors, a homelessness outreach group. People want to be in these sites and they prefer them over shelters for many different reasons. Some people prefer shelters, but uh, you know, many people would rather have their own privacy. The vote increases the funding by nearly $488,000, keeping the safe sleeping site in operation through June. Santos tells me they'll soon be at max capacity, and this money will be used for more staff, food, and other resources at the site. So to stop it right in the middle, because we didn't have the continuation of budget to continue doing the good work is, is why I think that we really proposed it very quickly. While Brady and others may support the safe sleeping site and what it's providing. He says housing it's what's going to curb the crisis. Until then, shelters, interim solutions, some might say a distraction, some might not. When it comes to safe sleeping, we definitely are supportive of that. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.